What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Ithaca Beer Company and they're out of Ithaca, New York and this is their apricot wheat. So they're calling this one a wheat ale with natural apricot flavor. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This bottle is approximately four months old. So it's been a long time since I've had this one. It's been like seven or eight years. And I say that a lot when I do these shelfy beer reviews because a lot of these I haven't had since like the mid 2010. So um, I wanted to uh, grab this one and give it a review. So here we are now. I don't remember if this used to be with natural apricot flavor. They actually used real apricots. I don't remember, but I do remember that Ithaca, I don't believe they put the ABV on the bottle. Nowhere to be found. Um, I had to go to their website, said 5%. On Untappd, it said 4.9, regardless, somewhere in the 4.9 to 5% ABV range. So yeah, I haven't had this one in quite a while, but back when I got into craft beer about 12 years ago, um, this was one of, I wouldn't say my go-to fruit beer, but one of one of my uh, more enjoyable fruit beers that I would pick up from time to time, and I really enjoyed it and uh, haven't had it in a long time. So we're gonna crack this one open and get it into the glass and uh, go from there. I'm gonna use the Allagash uh, glass because uh, why not? Now, uh, when I did the uh, shelfy beer uh, vlog, I couldn't understand the date, but I believe, and it's stupid that I didn't think about this, but it actually has the uh, the bottle on date and uh, yeah, it's about four months old. So anyway, let's give it a pour here. Yeah, we'll do something like that leave the rest in there. I don't know if there is, yeah, it might be a little bit of goodies there at the bottom. We'll see. So that has this really cloudy orange color. It's more of like a yellow down here. Like it goes from really deep orange and then transitions into more of like a, a straight up yellow. Had about a half finger of a bright white, somewhat creamy, but also fluffy and uh, soap sudsy looking head. Uh, I can see this, this Allagash glass has the etching in the bottom and there is a bunch of carbonation rising to the top. So yeah, anyway, get a nose on it. Yeah, so that's apricot for sure. 100% apricot, although if I was doing this blind, I might start thinking like maybe like a peach or a nectarine or something, some kind of stone fruit reminiscent of an apricot. Yeah, I mean, it smells authentic. Even though I say natural apricot flavor, this smells like you, you're, you're eating or smelling an apricot, like apricot juice. It's a little bit of like a grainy, weedy kind of sensation from the malt. It just smells super refreshing and very light and easy going. Now, I've said this before. Anytime I review a wheat beer, whether it's an American brewed one or maybe like a Belgian Vit beer or a German Hefeweizen, I always say that when it comes to American wheat ales or American pal wheat ales, not my favorite. They're just not. This, though, because of the apricot, it works a little bit better for me, but still, the, the style is still not one of my favorites. So I just want to mention that before I dive into this and give it a proper review, just so you know where I'm coming from. But I, I do enjoy the smell of this one. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Yeah, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. A lot of carbonation. The carbonation of this reminds me of a soda pop. Like, like a Sprite or like a 7-Up uh, or something. A lot of spritzy carbonation attacking the tongue. Body on this one's like lower side of medium, higher side of light. 5%, that's fine. But that mouthfeel, so effervescent, so spritzy. The carbonation dances on your tongue. It's smooth going down, but this has a lot of carbonation. If you're not into like a carbonated uh, beer, like a super carbonated beer, you're probably not going to dig this one. But it makes it real refreshing, especially if you're drinking this one in like the middle of summer. The flavors are very simplistic. It's not overly complex. The apricot hits right at the front of the palate. And again, it has a juicy, sweeter apricot flavor. And that carries on throughout the entire uh, palate. It's omnipresent. Um, there's an underlying grain, almost wheat-like sensation on the palate, like you're feeling it. Maybe a little bit of like a nondescript citrus, like a zesty citrus, like a maybe like a lemon-lime or something. It's not super sweet or anything, but you know, it has this more of a sweet malt kind of character along with that juicy uh, sweet apricot um, note. And then on the back of the palate, this is semi to full on dry. There's almost no bitterness here though. Like this is, this doesn't have, like a beer like this isn't gonna have much bitterness, if any at all. Yeah, maybe a very slight touch of like a bitter profile on, on the finish, but this is more semi to full on dry. So that's where it kind of balances it out. I'm gonna pour the rest in here, see if there's any goodies or anything. I don't think so, but we'll see. 
So no, it really didn't cloud up all that much. Maybe a little bit. Looks the same. Smells the same. And tastes exactly the same. So here's the thing about this beer. Is it a solid, decent, say good beer? Yeah, I like it for what it is. If you don't like apricots, you probably wouldn't pick this one up and you probably wouldn't enjoy it. For me, I think this is a great beer for the spring and summertime. It's hot out. Um, I think they have this in cans. You could grab, I think they're, I want to say they're, they're in a 16 ounce can, so like a four pack. Take you to the beach or, you know, at a barbecue or just grilling out back. Have a couple of them. Enjoy yourself. Not going to get hammered 5%. You can't tell it's 5%. It's very low ABV, so you understand it. And I think at the end of the day, um, it's good for what it is. Personal preference and style or um, rating for myself, not within the style, just personal preference. I'd give this like a high 3.5 out of 5. I'd go 3.6. So that's what I'm going to give apricot wheat from uh, Ithaca, 3.6 out of 5. Can't go much higher than this. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Price and availability. I believe these are like ten dollars a six pack in my area, so that's fine for you know what they're what they're for this beer. Ten dollars a six pack is fine. Um, availability. I have no idea with Ithaca. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they make it outside of New York State. So if anybody is outside of New York State and you see Ithaca, let me know. I think they may, might get into like Ohio. Um, maybe Pennsylvania, maybe a couple other states, but they don't get big distribution. Uh, but if you do see Ithaca, you probably should see this one because this along with Flower Power is like their core kind of staple beers. Um, you see this one everywhere that, in, in my area anyway, wherever you see Ithaca beers, you see this and Flower Power. So not much more to say about, like I said, post the comment section, let me know what you think about it. I think it's a very easy going beer. I probably should have picked this one up like in May or June and, and drank it and be a little more refreshing, but it's still refreshing, still very refreshing beer. Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.